I'm bored. I need a makeover. Look! There is mommy's hair dyeing kid and makeup. I'm gonna be gorgeous. Wow! I look fantabulous. Let's go show sissy. Tada! What did you do? Mom is gonna king you. So you think I look ugly? No, but I'm busy. Stop bothering me. What are you busy with? Playing Roblox with my online friends. Add me to your group chat or else. Okay. Jeez. Mia has been added. Wait, who just got added? Me, obviously. My sister. She's six. Shut up, you rat. Since she doesn't know us, should we do age name and face again? Yes. I'm Dustin, I'm 16 and here's me. So hot. Sis, there's a no dating rule. I don't care. Daddy Dustin. Stop or we will kick you. Fine. I'm Chris. I'm also 16 and here's me. I'm Lola and I'm 15. Here's me. Ugly. Sweetie, this may be hard to understand because you are 6, but we don't like bullying or dating here. Shut up. Mia, she is serious. Do you want to get reported to the police? No, I'm sorry. Anyways, it's my turn. I'm Camila, I'm 15, and here is me. Sissy, I don't know how to work my camera. Can you send a hot picture of me? Sure. I'll send two. I hate Lola. I see the resemblance, though. Anyways, I'm Mia. I'm 18. And the second picture was me. Girl, you ain't 18. Lola, can I speak to you in private? Dustin and Chris can come, too. Sure. So what's up, Camila? Can't you just tell your mom about your sis? Wait, that's a good idea. She dyed her hair. She's in trouble. You should definitely tell her then. Is your sis even allowed to speak to strangers online since she is only six? I didn't think about that. I'ma tell my mom right now and hopefully Mia gets grounded for a while. Good luck. Mention that she called me Daddy Dustin. Oh yeah. Ha ha ha. I will. Bye. Mom. What is it, honey? Mia has been being bad. What did she do this time? She dyed her hair for a start, ruined your makeup, and called one of my online friends Daddy Dustin. Show me. Show texts. Oh man. She's grounded. And what did she do to her gorgeous looks? She looks like Dora off Wish. Mia, come here. What is it, stinky rat? Mia, why did you touch mommy's hair dye and makeup? Your hairy is stained for months. I know. Don't I look pretty? No, you're grounded. Grr, I'm panic. I'ma get revenge on sissy. Snitches get stitches. Guys, I'm back. So how did it go? Please tell me Daddy Dustin has come to an end. No, she didn't get told off. Oh god, no. Phew. I thought you were being serious there. Same. Guys, I have a good idea. What is it? Tell us. What? So basically on Roblox group chat only allows up to 5 people. So if we find someone else then we won't have any weirdos joining. Oh my god. That's genius. But there is a flaw in the plan. What if it ends up like one of those cringy TikTok Roblox stories, and we get a two-year-old pretending to be our age? Do you know how easy it is to get a pick off Google? Dustin does have a point though. Knowing our luck, we will accidentally add Mia again. Ha <laughs> ha. What if we ask to meet in real life? Would you all fund my planet ticket because I'm from UK? Of course. I can't wait. Eek. Sorry to sound like a creep, but where in the USA are y'all from? New York. From California. I'm from Cali too. Shall we meet in California then? Sounds good. Now let's add someone else. Say, Say ABC, ABC to join, to join, our, join, our, friend join our friend group. ABC. Oh. What's wrong? My last friend group bullied me because I was a bacon. So I was kinda hoping there would be another bacon here. We don't mind at all. As long as you're nice. I couldn't care less. Wait, really? You just don't want to waste money on a game. That's under stumble. Thanks guys. Well, anyways, I'm Matt Carley and I'm 15. How about you? Wait, I don't want our info going out to strangers. So I'll add you to the group chat. I'm Dustin and I'm 16. 
I'm Chris, and I'm also 16. I'm Lola, and I'm 15. I'm Camila, and I'm 15 too. It's really nice to meet you all. You too. So. Basically, we are planning to meet up and are wondering if you want to come? Sure. Where are we meeting? We are planning on California. No way. I live in California. Chris and Camila, I have sent you both $700 for plane tickets, etc. Wait, really? Oh my god, thank you so much. Yes, really. How are you so rich? I got a job last summer and it's quite high pay. So my idea was that we could meet up at, because it's quite near the airport and it's not infested with litter. I live about 40 minutes away from there. I live about 20 minutes away. Have some gas money, guys. Charlie, I sent you $50. Dustin, I sent you $75. Won't you need gas money? No, I live a couple minutes away. We could meet up next week? Sure. sure. I have booked my plane ticket. Same. I am excited. The next week. Hey guys, it is lovely to meet you in real life. You too. Where is Charlie? Oh yeah, where is he? Let me go ask that man. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Deary. Have you seen a boy around our age anywhere? Was his name Charlie, perhaps? Yes. How did you know? I saw him. Where? where? Right in front of you. I I'm don't confused, see him, huh? sir. Where? You really are stupid kids, aren't you? It's me. I'm Bacon Boy, Charlie 15. Throws them all in his van. Starts driving away. Why are you doing this? A girl called me $500 to kidnap you, so now I'm going to let you rat in my basement and dine. Of course it was Mia. Locks them in his basement. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Did you kidnap them? Yes, ma'am. Here is the money. Gives $500. He, thanks, beautiful. Oh, I got blue. What does that even mean? I'll find out later, but for now, I have to go tell my best friend. Hey, I see you got the color pink, that's actually what I wanted, but I don't even know what the colors mean. Same, but my mom didn't really seem happy with what I got, so I assume that's something bad. Oh, I haven't told my mom yet. But how can we find out what the colors mean? Justin knows a lot about this stuff, maybe we can go ask him. Sure, let's go. Hey, Justin, you got red. We are wondering if you know the color's meaning. Well, yeah, I got red, and I know what yours means, but I have never heard of blue. I think it's a rare color. What? Do you mean you have no idea what's hers mean? Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint, but do you want to know what the color pink means? Yes, I do. What does this mean? Well, it's a basic color, nothing too special. The only special thing is that you are slightly smarter than the rest. That's all what pink means. Oh, so that's why my mom was kinda mad. Cause I'm not special, but how is Adrian supposed to find out what her color means? Probably through Google or something, or maybe the news. Well, yeah, that's all I know. Anything else? No, thanks, bye. Alright, bye. What am I gonna do now? Should I tell my mom? Calm down, he said it's rare, which means it's good, right? Wait, oh my god. You have color blue. Um, yeah. Do you know what it means? Yes, I do. Oh my god, you're such a queen. Tell me what it means, please. I really want to know. Wait, you don't know? No, she doesn't. Now tell us quickly, is it something bad? No, no, not at all. In fact, you have to be really be careful, because people would try to kidnap you, so let's go somewhere safer. Okay, sure, I'm so flipping curious. Okay, so tell me right now. So firstly, you have to know that you are a queen, and you have a king. He's supposed to be both pink and blue. You guys are supposed to get married. What? But I'm just 17, and why should I be getting married? I don't know, but you have to find your king. How? And apart from that, do I have any powers or special ability? Yes, you have a lot. I don't know them all, but I know a few. Tell us what they are. So you can control the weather. You can change people's minds, you can read minds, and many other stuff but I don't know them all. Wait, really? Oh my god, bestie, you are so freaking lucky. And how do I find my king or whatever he's called? Oh, I'll help you, follow me. 
Okay, I'll ride behind you. Can my bestie also come? Sure, come. Here is where you find your king. We can't go in. Only you is allowed in the palace. Make sure to be careful. Okay, thank you so much for this. I'm actually kind of nervous for this. So I can't go in with her. Unfortunately, you can't, so sorry. Well, good luck. Bye bestie, be safe. I will, bye guys. Oh gosh, this place is very huge. Hi, you must be the queen. Are you looking for your king? Um, who are you? I'm so sorry for not introducing myself. I'm Austin, your king's personal assistant, also used from now. I run around here. Now let's go to your king. Oh my god, why ain't he my king? He's so cute. Hello, ma'am? Oh, so sorry, I'm right behind you. Follow me. Oh, hi, um, uh, I am Adrian, your- Cool, now get me a glass of wine. Unfortunately, sir, you can't send her on errands. That's the reason why I'm here. Whatever, I don't care who gets me the wine. Just go. Is this anything I can get for you, ma'am? No, thanks, and please don't call me ma'am. Just call me Adrian or Adri. Sure, I'll be on my way. Uh, so, hi. I'm watching a movie where you can see, just shush and let me be. Oh, okay, sorry. Can I tell you something? Sure, what's up? I'm actually not your king. Wait, what? Bro, stop shouting. Man, jeez, octopus. So you are not my king? Yeah, and to be honest, I'm happy I'm not. I'm just hacked the Rayal King, which is our assistant. I hacked him because I wanted his rich life. So our assistant is my real king? Yeah, and you're better not telling anyone about this. How am I supposed to keep my mouth shut after you hacked my king and pretend to be him? Here is your wine, sir. Anything else? No get out of here, slave. Actually, assistant. Shut up and leave. I'm going out with friends for a while and I don't want you to call me or anything. Okay, bye. Austin. Austin? Austin. Yes, ma'am. How may I help you today? Firstly, don't call me ma'am and secondly, I need to tell you something really important. I'm sorry. What is it you wanted to tell me, ma'am? I mean, Adri. You are my king. No, actually, assistant. Explains everything. How am I supposed to believe all of this? Wait, I changed to king. What? Attention, there was a man found drinking and driving on Pokemon Street. He fake being the king and he's now taken to jail. The real king is being put back to his position. Oh my god. No way. Yes way. I'm so happy you are my king. I can't wait for us to get married. Ah, uh, I'm happy, too. I really didn't even suspect a thing. Same, but I'm happy. Let's finish this movie he was watching. Sure, ma'am. Whoops, sorry. I mean Adri. Sorry. I mean babe. Come here. I love you. I'm so nervous. What? No way. It has to be broken. 19 hours? Oh my god. How do I even tell the GC? I can't wait. I have to tell them now. I am so sorry, Jayla. Yeah, for real. We can do anything you want. Aww. Thanks, guys. What's going on? Jay only has three years. You're telling her like she even cares. What? No, I do care. Shut up. What? I said shut up. You act like you care, but you don't. You're even happy I'm about to dine. What? No, I... Is this true, Sophie? No. Yes, it is. No, please. I only wanted to tell you guys how long I have a left. Oh, so now you want to brag. You can't be serious. Soph, I think you need to leave. We're trying to spend some time with Jayla. You should be spending time with me. I only have 19 hours left. Well, make that 18 because I've been arguing with you guys. Wait, what? She's lying. She just wants attention. You know what? Our time goes public tomorrow. We should all come to the GC and see who's lying. Yeah, I agree. Fine. You guys will see. I swear to you. The next day. 3, 2, 1. What's, What's the, the fic? fic? Jayla, you lied to us. Yeah, what is wrong with you? And Sophie, she was telling the truth. Jayla, why would you lie to us? You guys always give her attention and never me. That's not even true. Kick her out. Wait. 
Jayla has been kicked out of the group chat. Sophie I. Shut up. Just shut up. We're so sorry. No, you are not. I don't want to waste my time on you guys. I'm gonna spend my last hours with my family. Wait, I can give you some of my time. Really? Max has given Sophie 32 years. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Max. I'm so sorry. I didn't believe you, Sophie. It's okay. Sophie, there's something I have to tell you. Go on. I like you very much. I want you to be my girlfriend. Are you serious? What? what? Are you ficking stupid, Max? What are you talking about? Gosh, Jordan? should I tell him? I don't know. He seems Jordan? happy now. What if he's not? Jordan! Huh. Oh. What were you saying? Well, um, well, um, it's nothing important. Oh, okay. So what do you say, Sophie? Yes. Of course. And thanks again for the years. Of course, baby. I got to go. I'll join later. Goodbye, my love. See ya. Max. What's up? Should I ask him? What if I make it too obvious? Jordan? Oh, sorry. Are you okay? You seem off lately. Um, yeah. I got to go. Okay, bye. What's up with him? Did I do something wrong? Later that day. Hey guys, I'm back. Great to have you back. Do you guys want to play something? Sure. Jordan? Yeah. They played a hood for one hour. That was fun. I agree. Yeah, it was. We should meet up, babe. We could watch movies at my place, go out and do anything you want. I'd love to. I can't. What? what? I can't take it anymore. I'm in love with you, Max. I always have been. Wait, what? I'm in love with you. I have been since last year and you failed to notice that. Wait, Jordan. I don't know what to do. Go after him. But what about- I said go. I'll be okay. But hurry before it's too late. But- What was I thinking? He's with- Jordan? Max? Listen, I'm sorry. I am sorry for pain blind all these years. The truth is I'm in love with you too, Jordan. I was too scared to tell you, too scared of thought you would reject me. Wait, then why did you date Sophie? Because I didn't think you had interest in me. So I wanted to move on and try something new. Max, I- There's no need to say it because I love you too. Do you want to yes, be- Yes, of course. I'll be your boyfriend. Oh my god! I'm so glad! Wait, what about Sophie? She'll understand. Back in the GC. Ah, oh, congratulations you too. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Sophie, who's this? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Maddie. I love your avatar. Ah, thank you so much. Jordan and Max are still together. Sophie confessed her love for Maddie but got rejected. Maddie met someone new and is dating them. And Sophie is still on her journey to find love.